So hi, everyone. I am Robin Farman Farmian. You heard a little bit about who I am earlier. My life goal is to impact 100 million patients worldwide. And so I want to tell you about some of the really cool technology companies I've worked on or I'm working on currently. And a big shout out to Steve Matheson and Keaton Patel, Dr. Keaton Patel. They are in, they are in the webinar right now, and they are the co-founders of one of the companies I'm working with. It's called Convalytics, and what they have is a supplement that will clear senescent cells. Now, if you know a lot about the longevity industry, you probably have heard of senescent cells. The implications for that on aging, but also things like neurodegenerative disease and autoimmune disease are huge. And so if you haven't heard of senescent cells, they're really just the cells that have stopped dividing. They're too old and they just stopped dividing. You think they just kind of sit there and, and do nothing. But in fact, what they do is they sit on the sidelines and they scream danger, danger, essentially to all the other cells. And that creates inflammation. And so by clearing it, we can actually start to reverse the clock. Another company I'm working on is Xtherma, which is very cool. It's cutting edge cryopreservation. Now, why you care about cryopreservation is because of things like organ transplants or cell therapy. And we're able to keep uh, something like a heart at negative five degrees Celsius for more than 24 hours. Really big deal in the world of you know, organ transplants because most donor hearts go unused about 80%. But the big deal is longevity. Right, because what is being worked on in tandem at companies like Lung Biotechnologies are 3D printed or tissue engineered vascularized organs. And so imagine being able at the age of 50 or even 40 or, or 60, switch out your heart when you need a new heart because it's aging or switch out your liver because that liver has been used and do it by using your own stem cells. And so that's when cryopreservation really hits the longevity industry because we can keep things like a backup heart for Robin or a backup liver for, you know, Kate. Some other cool companies I've worked on include things like Mind Maze, which is virtual reality for stroke and brain injury rehabilitation, which is very cool because we are really retraining the brain in the world of virtual reality. And one last one I'll mention because it's very cool. Uh, was a company called Actavalon, and we had three small molecules that were discovered through machine learning. So really, you know, you're hearing about AI for drug discovery. We did it, right? What we were doing was, was repairing P53. Now, at the part of the cell called P53, that's damaged in more than 50% of all cancer cases. And so if you're able to give P53 back, just repair it, it will be able to kill the cell if it detects cancer. And so it's really the body's own way of destroying cancerous cells. And so by being able to do that, you could potentially cure more than 50% of all cancer. But that's kind of crazy, right? Like I'm working on neuro and organ transplants and clearing senescent cells. And I've, I've invested in things like inhaled insulin for diabetes. You know when you meet someone as absolutely crazy as I am, there has to be a backstory. Of course, with me at the age of 16, I was misdiagnosed with an autoimmune disease. All told, I've had 43 hospitalizations, six major surgeries, and three organs removed. By the time I was 26, this was seven years after I had had my entire large intestine removed, my doctors were all telling me I was cured, but I wasn't. And I was in extreme pain. So over a period of time, they kept upping and upping my opiate dose until eventually, I was on 80 milligrams a day of methadone. Now this is a gigantic dose of opiates and I absolutely hated the drug. So I went to my doctor and I said, I need to be off this medication. I don't think it's doing anything and I think it's actually causing me a lot more rebound pain. And she said, well, next step could be to surgically implant a morphine pump into your spine. I was like, I was 26 years old. I was essentially a shut-in. I couldn't function. I couldn't work. Going to the grocery store was like the hardest thing I could accomplish in an entire week. And they were telling me that was the rest of my life. He said, absolutely not. And so I fired my entire healthcare team. Went home that night and I dropped my own methadone dose by 40% and went through essentially heroin withdrawal for a week by myself. I ended up rebuilding my healthcare team with doctors and, and healthcare professionals that worked with me as a colleague. I ended up getting diagnosed correctly, put on a medication called Remicade. And within 24 hours of that first dose, I went into remission. 
happened overnight. And it, all, it happened mainly because I took control of my healthcare. You know that whole patient as CEO thing? This is real. It can save your life. Now, when Kate came to me and told me about this new book, Longevity 1.0, I was so excited. See, I've gone, I go back years with Kate. She and I both work on cutting edge technology in Silicon Valley. And so of course we bump into each other a lot. Now, um, I also already knew Dimitri. And so when she came to me, I was like, no brainer, absolutely. I would love to contribute to this because we all think very similarly about cutting edge technology and longevity. And so what I did is I contributed to the Femtech chapter as well as precision medicine. Now, when we're talking about precision medicine, it's, it's not just the, the uh, treatment based on the individual necessarily, but I like to call it personalized medicine, which is precision medicine, when you want it, where you want it, and how you want it received, right? Because it's no longer needing to just go to a hospital to have access to things like IV medication or clinical trials or even just going, instead of going to the ER, you can now do it at home when you have something like an earache and we have the tools for that. So remember this when going forward, take control of your own healthcare and it's healthcare when you want it, where you want it and how you want it received.